hey guys i'm back with a new video today i'm going to show you a new tool through which you can create uh, a website this is a, a design from our client and he need to let's say he, he need uh, this kind of website one way to create a website via the code and uh, that takes time some time and there are people who are not who do not know how to create a website so this tool will allow you to create uh, this design via drag and drop so let's get started so i have this design i have a logo uh, a text and an, Im an image or this description and these images will go here okay and lastly uh, another text basically uh, this will be a horizontal scroll bar so your user can uh, our client can scroll it so we have to add that functionality as well simply go to rapidoconnect.com uh, just create an account there just click on the dashboard you'll see uh, you can create here uh, projects so let me create a new project name it as uh, need for speed and the project URL should be an fs you can name it whatever you want so you can access the website at this url okay uh, just create the project once your project is created you can see it here just click on this and now i'm going to create this design so first of all we need this logo so i'm going to select the image and just click on it go to this setting uh, the image and upload the image I already have all the files downloaded here so this is our logo just double click on it you can also make it center or shift it to the right side but according to design we have to keep it at the left side uh, after that we need uh, a bigger image so for that I'm going to use a carousel just drag and drop it here you'll see uh, there are three images let's uh, modify the configuration of this element just click on the setting button click on carousel configuration images count since we only need one image here so I'm going to decrease the image size to one and it is not allowing allowing me and it is not allowing me to decrease it to one because i have set the views per slide is equal to three so minimum images can be three so i need to change this to one and then i can reduce this to one as well so now we have one image here and i can adjust the height let's go with 300 pixels I can change the radius of my image as well so just set it to 16 pixel uh, I'm going to upload it here just click on this image icon and just click on it and then select your cover image let it get uploaded okay once it's uploaded you can uh, click on the done button uh, if you want to increase the height a little bit just click on the setting go to carousel configuration and change height to around 400 uh, we I also forgot that I have to add this uh, heading so I'm going to use this heading drag and drop it here just click on this section click on setting click on heading and here I can edit the heading I'm going to copy this heading and then paste it here I can make it bold or bolder uh, let's go with normal I can change the font size let's choose 24 I think this is the best uh, I can also rearrange the position of my elements for example I want this to be between this logo and the banner image I can just simply drag and drop it here 
after that uh, what do we have we have a paragraph let's copy the text go back to the rapidoconnect.com and just drag and drop the paragraph you can see this paragraph just click on the setting click on the paragraph and then paste your content here for now i'm just keeping the font size to 16 pixels then we have uh, this uh, scroll scroll scrolling effect so for that i'm going to use the carousel again uh, here i'm going to just go to the configuration and we need maximum of three carousel also i can increase the height so let's go with the 300 and uh, i can change the radius of these images let's keep it at 16 pixels i can also increase the space between these images let's say like this uh, i also want a user to scroll this infinitely so i'm going to enable this and i want the scroll bar, bar and i want the scroll bar to uh, move itself so i'm going to click on auto play and mention the seconds here to say se after two seconds it will keep on uh, scrolling horizontally now it's time to add images just click on this uh, image um, icon and then here i can upload uh, these images like this this okay once all the images are uploaded just click on the done button and you can review it okay all the images are here and uh, the last thing we need is uh, this text so i'm going to again use the paragraph just click on this click on the paragraph edit it and paste your paragraph it right here so we have completed the whole page if you are bothering with the space between this text and this space there is a lot of space so to edit it uh, just click on the setting and go to the view uh, here you can adjust the padding uh, or the margins or you can also set the color like this you can also make sure to make it like uh, give it a radius so for now i'm going to just uh, give white color I'm going to adjust the bottom padding to zero and uh, I think that's it and for this I'm going to the setting go to view and top uh, padding to eight or if I make it zero huh well I think I should give it eight and bottom padding should also be eight or, or zero hmm now let's look better this one is uh, let's look also better perfect once you are satisfied with your design um, you can just click on the publish button yeah, or if you want to change the background just close the slider for now if you want to change the background uh, just go to this brush uh, there are two options root which uh, is this background and this canvas is this white canvas so what I'm going to do I'm going to change the padding from the top to 16 and the bottom padding as well 16 I can also upload upload the uh, f background file or set the background as image or, or as color as well like this but for now i'm going to just set it as white just to show you guys you can also add the background image i'm going to click on this see just clear the image right here or if you want to change the root color to this one you can also add the background image of of your root to this this one looks pretty nice click on this publish button and you can see that your website or this design is published and you can view it from this url as you can see that this is the project name 
you can scan this QR code to uh, this QR code will redirect you to this URL just click on the open button and see how our website looks so this is how your final website will look like uh, exactly how you create it you can just simply change it in real time um, or if you want to add more elements you can do that as well uh, let's say I want to change the background to the color so I'm going to click on this uh, I'm going to select the root just clear image and then republish and now our site is published again just open it up you'll see the background is removed right now so this is how you can create uh, a website with just simple drag and drop tool it is one of the best tool out there so you guys just do try or check it out so that's it for this video i'll see you in the next one